let's see what kind of methods we can use to estimate the duration of tasks. So first we're going to start with the source of information that we can use. And we have uh, three main points of reference. So first of all, I can ask some sort of an expert to estimate the duration of a specific item or task. As a project manager, obviously, you'll not know how long certain task will take. So you need somebody to tell you roughly how much time it can take. If you are doing a lot of similar projects, you can actually also use previous experience. And here we would look for similar tasks, items that we have done during other projects. Obviously, quite often you have to adjust the estimation so they um, fit in a better manner the current project. And finally, we can use benchmarks. So these point of reference are provided using internal or external benchmarks from other projects not done by us. A very good source of benchmarks are suppliers, especially you know, of software and machines, because they know how long specific tasks, items, take on other similar projects in other companies. Obviously, the source is not enough. We also have to have some sort of a method to treat the data we get from the sources. And we have four main methods that we can use. Obviously, we can have a just single value. So we ask, for example, one expert how long it will take us to complete a certain specific task. This is obviously the worst method because one observation is not statistically significant. A bit better approach is to have more than one value, more than one estimation. So for example, 10 different experts give you different estimations and you simply calculate arithmetic average. Even better approach is to use weighted average. This is similar to arithmetic average. The difference is that every observation can have a different importance, different weight. So if I have 10 experts, I can treat observation from three of them as crucial and attach a bigger weight to that. A simplified form of a weighted average is the so-called three-point estimation, very often used uh, by project managers. And here I have three scenarios, optimistic, pessimistic, and realistic. And I calculate weighted average where next to the optimistic and pessimistic estimations, I have a weight of one. And for the most likely, so realistic scenario, I have a weight of four. And obviously I have to divide by six because this is a sum of all weights. And those approach, obviously I can use for each and every source of information. So for example, I can get a lot of information from different projects and use one of the four methods that we have talked about to estimate the duration of new tasks. Let's have a look at case study where we will see how we can uh, do that in practice and how the results of those methods differ. 